I truly don't think that you'll see any more edgy, interesting channels coming up in a big way on YouTube anymore. You won't see it. All you're ever gonna see on YouTube anymore is Jake Paul, Logan Paul. You're gonna get more Dude Perfect. There's no soul left. There's no backbone left. It's just goo and piss, 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 piss. All I can say is fucking finally. And I'm so glad that I do not need to edit that word out anymore, because goddamn, I'll tell you, when I first started doing YouTube, all I wanted to do was be myself. I didn't I didn't want to have to censor myself. I didn't want to worry about hurting people's fucking feelings, because if you don't want to get your feelings hurt, don't watch the video. Go somewhere else. YouTube kids, that's it. But now, since YouTube has actually put their big boy pants back on, Pretty much all of my videos have been re-monetized. Why does that matter? So, when I started out, I had a series that I wanted to continue on called Cringeworthy Creeps of Instagram. And this particular video, I don't know why, but it absolutely took off. And by my standards, it took off. Considering the average video, when I started out, was getting between anywhere between 20 and like 140 views and then this one had 3,000, I'm like, okay, shit. I can be as vulgar and disgusting and whatever I want, and people are actually gravitating towards this. Like, I felt like I was kind of in a home, a home free zone as far as being able to do whatever I want. Like, I'm probably not gonna get more vulgar or explicit than this. Like, no, like, I'm not saying it's that bad, but that's pretty much as bad as I was trying to get ever. And the fact that that video as soon as the apocalypse happened, as soon as the ad boycott happened, that video got demonetized. And I missed monetization on all of those views. And while it was being demonetized, it also got hidden from a lot of people. So it got 3,000 views while being suppressed, which means I'm assuming now it's going to blow up even more so. Because realistically, from a, from a marketing standpoint, YouTube shouldn't be advocating that these are good quality videos, but if these are where the eyeballs are going, then why would they not try and put ads on these videos? Like think about it, even on mainstream TV, you have beer commercials, you have car commercials, and they're sexualized. There's girls in bikinis, there's alcohol use in these videos. All these things, it's like, all right, money's getting pushed towards those things. If you do anything like that on YouTube though, they were not getting ads. Meanwhile, that's like the, they, that's, that's where the whole saying came from, sex sells. That's the main reason why people do that kind of stuff in their videos. That's why they have girls in their videos. That's why there's freaking tits and beer commercials in between PG rated shows on freaking global. But YouTube was like, you know what? We don't, we don't like money anymore. I understand there was way more to it than that. Like the whole PewDiePie racist video thing, which was clearly a joke. Everybody on earth realized that a McDonald's ad comes up on a race racist PewDiePie video, that does not mean that McDonald's now supports racism. Or now, that does not mean that McDonald's is a neo-Nazi racist company. Everyone on earth recognizes that the ad has nothing to do with the video that comes right after it. So pretty much all I'm trying to say is the old Taiki Taik is gonna be coming back. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when this whole boycott thing happened, I was in a slump, I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't really feel like I wanted to do this anymore. Cause in all honesty, I had to center myself a lot. The things that I found funny, I couldn't do anymore. The things that a lot of people thought were funny, I couldn't put it out for them because if they didn't share it or tell people about it, it literally went nowhere. I have videos that are the same content, the sexting fails, the cringeworthy creeps, or even like um, my St. Patty's Day videos. These videos all, all got great response from my friends, and these actually brought in a lot of subscribers for me, but as soon as the boycott happened, everything stopped. It like, completely stopped. And I had to switch over to doing more of these games with Danielle, which I don't mind doing. I do enjoy those ones. But a lot of my stuff has had to be a lot more playful, which... I don't know, if you want to watch playful shit, then go to freaking YouTube Kids. I'm not gonna lie, Just get get out of here. If, you don't, if you're like, oh, tanky tank, you know, you're being a little bit insensitive, I don't know what to tell you, this is my channel. If you want to make a channel that has sensitive shit on it, go right ahead, buy your own camera, get your own lighting, write your own scripts, 
cast your own ideas. Make it as happy and freaking family friendly as you want to, but I don't want to be family friendly. Like I said, if you find a video offensive, give me a dislike. Don't demonetize the entire thing and suppress it from the world. And I'm just glad that YouTube is now understanding like, hey, at the end of the day, people are still gonna make these videos. At the end of the day, a huge amount of creators have jumped ship on YouTube and have gone over to Twitch to be like, you know what, fuck this, this, is, this sucks. You see how many people are selling their cars, moving out of their houses, and they're having to move in with other YouTubers just to try and make enough money. Like I'm talking bigger YouTubers now. Just making enough money to sustain the lifestyle that they were used to. And if your entire livelihood, let's say, was doing Call of Duty videos, and every time you put Nazi zombie in the title, it got demonetized, you're fucked. You're, like, that was your entire fan base. That was your entire reason for starting doing YouTube. Doing sniper montages, doing Nazi zombie montages, just doing overall gameplay. And now every time you upload a video, done. Just, you can't put it up anymore. So all those people are like, well, this is ridiculous. How am I supposed to not only en engage with my fans, but have a living? A lot of these people had quit their jobs or moved out of their houses or got the, their dream car, whatever it might be, and then they had to revert every single thing. But now, since YouTube, thankfully, I don't know if it's gonna get even better than this or not, but hopefully it keeps going in, as myself, a creator's eyes as the right direction. Because we have a lot of different platforms already that exist for people who want to see these family friendly things or that they don't have to worry about their kids watching something that might be suggestive or something like that. But anyways, I'm happy that this is happening. I just want to give a little update as to the fact that starting yesterday at 2.30 p.m. till 2.30 a.m. YouTube had recalculated their whole uh, demonetizing system. They had gone through and mostly re-monetized everybody's videos. The ones that had been demonetized manually by um, YouTube themselves, those ones are still demonetized, but that's a whole separate story. But now I'm happy to announce that the kid is going to be doing a lot more of the sexting fail videos because hands down, I had said in the previous video before, talking about how this whole gold dollar, yellow dollar strike thing was happening. Those types of videos are my favorite type to do. Those are, the, those are the ones that got the greatest response from people. Those are the ones that got the people to uh, interact with me the most that they are actually excited for. That might not be your that might not be your thing. You might have come to this channel and the first video that you ever saw was maybe one of the vlogs where you saw that we went to a wedding. Or one of the vlogs where I was just like playing video games or me and Danielle were just walking around just doing casual, regular, everyday stuff. And that's maybe that's why you're here. And honestly, we'll continue doing vlogs. I have no problem with doing vlogs, but I don't want to be a vlogger. If you under, like, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I wanted to do something that I was more passionate about, which is more stand-up comedy, more being edgy, being ag not aggressive, but like more explicit, more of an adult audience. And when I say adult audience, I guess I mean 18 plus. I didn't think that I was what I was saying was that bad. I had some videos that I would go out of my way to not swear, but just the topic alone got it demonetized. So like, okay, so now I'm not even saying anything wrong. I'm talking about something that is globally known as an issue or globally known as a topic and it was getting demonetized. And so when that kind of stuff happened, I'm like, well, shit, I can't, I can't say anything. I can't talk about topics that are popular, that people care about. I, I can't do anything. It's like, all they want me to do is play with toys and have a happy-go-lucky, fun, uplifting channel. And that's what everyone was supposed to be. And I'm like, well, now I'm feeling that like this is a job. This was not enjoyable for me. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't know. If you're, if you're an OG subscriber from my channel, like when I started, and you've seen the transition that's happened in only, what is it, 11 months now? Yeah, no, 11 months. You've seen a, a drastic change from how I started to where I'm at now. And I didn't want to have to do that. I'm not gonna lie. I know I've been saying that a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. I didn't want to have to do that. But it's like, if you want to even get your stuff seen, you have to, you have to do this. If probably there's a curriculum, like if you went outside the guidelines of what we say is okay, you automatically just get a slash. It's like, you can't do, you have no creativity allowed. You're not allowed to be, you're not allowed to be yourself at all. Everyone has to be the exact same. If you aren't doing like this person, then you're doing it wrong. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna do it like this person. You, like at the end of the day, YouTube is the, the god of this hub and you don't really have a say. <laughs> at least that's what it's felt like for a pretty long time. However, YouTube now is turning it back around and I hope it stays this way. I know this has been a little bit more of like a rant 
or like an update video, but this is something that has actually got me excited to do YouTube again. Technically, I've never really stopped, but at one point, I think I went about maybe two and a half months and didn't upload. So I was like, is there really a point in doing this? But now, oh, oh God, it's about to go down. I'm gonna be uploading, I'm gonna be uploading like crazy. And it's gonna be whatever I freaking wanna do. So for the kids at home who are used to the old typey type, you better believe that he's back. I would drag my balls through a mile of broken glass, then soak them in lemon juice and hot sauce, just to sniff the chair that you sat on in third grade. First of all, a mile, a mile. You wouldn't even make it 10 feet before your balls were completely gone.